Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. In this video, I'm going to solve another problem from BFE.dev. It's called Validated String of Parentheses. I think I've done this before. It's a typical an easy problem in an interview. So let's take a look. 102, Validated Strings of Parentheses. We have a string made up with uh, parentheses, brackets, or braces. So we need to write a function to determine they are valid. Right, valid means they should be rightly paired and with the right valid order. Like this one, they are paired uh, separately, so they are valid. And this one is nested, though nested, they are in the right order, so valid. Well, this one is clearly not. This one, left one is missing, so miss, missing. So, yeah, it's not valid. Okay, so solve, to solve this problem, uh, yeah, the easy solution would be just uh, to stack them up, right? I think, I, I believe you guys already know how to do this. Uh, allow me to repeat this one. Um, we, we could just uh, put them into a stack, like this for this valid one. We met this left, because it's left, we put it in a stack, and then we made a right one. Because this right one, we compare the right one to the uh, top element, which is left. They are paired, so we remove it. And then we get left uh, square brackets, and then we match the right one paired. And the uh, same does for the last two uh, characters. Now let's take, let's take a look at the nested one. Left, we put in the stack. Left, we put in the stack. Left, we put in the stack. Now we met the right one, right? The right parenthesis. And uh, because it's paired with the top element, so we we uh, we pop it. And then we check the next one. It's paired with the top element. We remove it. And the last one is the uh, brace. We paired it with the top element, so we remove it. So finally, the stack will be empty, which means it's valid. So for the other cases, like uh, the la next one, uh, left, Brace, we put pushed it, and uh, then left uh, bracket, we uh, push it, and the right brace, uh, we we compare with the top element with this bracket, so they're not paired. So this becomes an error, right? So we just uh, uh, return false right away. So it's pro obviously we could just uh, use a stack to keep track of the uh, parentheses. Uh, by by um okay when we're comparing it for the right parenthesis we need to check if the pair if they are paired right so we need to actually create a map I think a uh, map with uh, uh with the right ones as the key this so we can find instantly with the uh, right one okay this and the brackets and the brace and the brace is cool so now we just loop through the character Uh, oh, we need to check if because this uh, input are all made up of parentheses. Mm, I think I will just uh, make it in this order. Uh, the left parenthesis as the key, which is, I think easier to understand. Okay. Okay. So now, if map has this character as the key it means it's the left one right for left we just push into the stack if not it's the right one we get the top element if map the top the elements in the stack are all um, left 
parentheses or brackets or braces. So we could just uh, get the uh, um, get get it, which oh, it might be empty, right? It might be null. So if is null, then we return false, and then we get the get the corresponding uh, right parenthesis. If it's uh, not uh, the character, we return false, right? Yeah, for the all, all the other cases, uh, it's cool. So we just uh, let it pop, and uh, yeah, that's it. So at last, when everything's done, we check if the stack is empty. That's it. I think we're done. Mm -hmm. Syntax error. Ah, there's a. Okay. Great. So this is not difficult. Uh, hope you can take a look. Uh, yeah. A bit up. So next time. Bye bye.